What is going on guys, Saints Row. Now they just released a massive update for this game that fixes more than over 200 bug fixes. And we're going to go over those patch notes right now. Now, this patch is going to read 1.00900 on the PlayStation 4 and 5. And now these patch notes that I'm going to give you are coming directly from the Saints Row website. It's not some third party notes or anything like that it's directly from the saintsroad.com so you can count on these patch notes being definitely accurate now they're calling it the bright future update let's get right into it because we have several updates several patches to talk about here in this update we have focus on improving the co-op player experience by fixing many community reported issues increased stability in both single player and co-op play fixed issue with same challenge with some challenge rewards not being granted to the player fixed visual issues with customization added important new quality of life feature for vehicle vehicles combat ui and other parts of the game plus even more read full set of changes change notes below to get a full picture so they have these patch notes in different categories now the next category is combat improvements now i will tell you this was highly needed there was a lot of weird bugs in the combat but let's get into it we have made several improvements to aiming we've rebalanced combat and drastically reducing the damage of enemy shotguns and smgs across the board this should make several key encounters furier and more fun. We've rebalanced most of the weapon ultimate challenges, simplifying them to make more progression feel more rewarding. Weapon ultimates now unlock automatically when the challenge is complete, so you can get to causing havoc with them right away. We've tweaked the time given to interrupt enemy call-ins for support. We've tweaked the scaling of notoriety to allow players to react to and escape the notoriety loop easier. We've reduced the frequency of stylized deaths on easiest difficulty. Okay, so there's that. Now you have vehicle, garage and vehicle improvements. There are seven new garage locations throughout the world that unlock at the start of Chop Shop. So you now have way more options for dropping off and obtaining stored vehicles. We've improved garage vehicle list management. You can now favorite, like, and view recent vehicles in garage. We freed up over 50 vehicle customization save slots. We introduced vehicle templates as rewards instead of saying instead of saving the vehicle to the player's garage automatically, allowing players to retain more custom vehicle save slots. We expanded the vehicle delivery options with full garage list, including favorites, liked, and recent vehicles. We added new drop-off location visual telegraphs to the hq and new chop shop locations for driven and flown vehicles so that's your vehicle customization patch notes and now we have open world gameplay and criminal ventures improvements we've introduced new progression tiers to district completions players will now see saints roaming the streets when they have completed the criminal venture and district threats at 100% completion, even more saints will spawn. We've significantly reduced the number of bright future disposals required to complete the venture. Chop shop vehicle delivery is now accepted at all new locations. We've improved the discovery radius on some collectibles making them easier to find while exploring the city 
So now you have UI and other improvements. A new voice pitch slider during customization will permit players to use a huge new range of voices. Now this is awesome. I like this. I want to test that out. Anyway, players now have the ability to equip weapons at HQ without having to walk outside the HQ. We've improved subtitle timings to better match what's happening on screen. We've implemented support for PlayStation 5 haptic triggers for weapons. We've improved color swatch options to include a truer black and a wider selected selection of gray. Okay, so they did some things with visuals. So here's a fixed list, and then you have co-op fixes. And that list is much longer. So we're going to go ahead and read the, f the fixed list co-op. Fixed an issue where sometimes the player could lose connection and disconnect during co-op. Fixed instances of player icon players' icons disappearing from the minimap. Fixed an instance of animations of the partner player not playing for a player hit with a thrust buster while having the camera mode on. Now that was just very specific, wasn't it? Fixed co-op interactions with the Ocha side hustle. The Atcha side hustle, which could lead to overriding or canceling the first interaction and displaying the objective only for the second player to interact. And there are several more. I mean, there is a heck of a lot of more um, co-op side notes, but we're going to jump to stability and crashes. You know, we're going to read down some of that list because there's, there's also a longer list of missions. So we're going to go ahead and get into that right now. Fixed an issue where the player could crash while being idle at HQ. Reduced instances of accidental player deaths in observe and report in booth, co-op, and single player sessions. Fixed a case where the train could derail after completing the mayhem tutorial fixed instances of infinite loading screens during conversation with chupacabra manager fixed a crash during co-op when restarting from checkpoint in the take me to church fixed an instance where players could encounter an infinite loading screen when restarting from checkpoint during making rent. Fix the crash when loading the chop lifting side hustle. Well, it says fix the crash when loading the chop lift side hustle. Fix the crash that could occur during prolonged fighting at high notoriety. Fixed an infinite loading screen that could occur after the clear the lead truck objective and observe the report. Fixed a crash that could occur in co-op in both players. Choose to exit the, to main menu during the first customization screen in the opening screen. Fixed a crash that occur that could that could occur for the host player during co-op while near the HQ. So they fixed a whole lot of those co-op problems that was in the game. I personally didn't really play co-op. I did like once or twice. So I'm going to read some of the mission fixes. There's also UI and there's also vehicles. So there is a lot more than what I'm reading to you here. I'm not reading 100% of the notes, but I'm reading you a lot of them. So we're going to go ahead, because, I mean, it is extremely long. I mean, it's very long. So, that was your stability crash crashes that I just, we're going to look at some of the mission fixes. 
fixed a case where Nina could fail to drive to the graveyard in breaking ground. I think I did experience that one. Fixed an issue where the Empire map would be invisible with empty lot circles in breaking ground. Fixed a soft crash that could occur after placing bright future disposal in breaking ground. Fixed a lighting transition at the beginning of networking. Fixed a case where the player could skip the conversation with an ally NPC in after party. Fixed a bug where player was unable to restart from checkpoint or restart mission after taking Kevin. Fixed an issue with Sergio getting up after being hit by E. Lanzardo in the Great Train Robbery. Fixed a soft crash that, are, that could occur during the Great Train Robbery after killing all the enemies in the first car. So there are a lot more notes in this that pertain to crashes and other bugs. And then you have a lot of UI notes, and then you also have vehicle notes. Now, we already had a garage garage notes, so we have vehicles too. I'm going to go ahead and give you a couple of those. Fix the logo display on the dreadnought. So that's kind of like a minor thing. Fix an issue with upgrade kits being lost after selecting vehicle presets in the garage. Adjust high glare intensity. Added controller rumble while drifting on heavy vehicles. Fixed a case where driver of a hijack vehicle would not properly ragdoll when being kicked out of the vehicle. Fixed a case of player respawning as a ragdoll after being killed in a vehicle. Fixed an issue that caused the yacht to behave erratically when picked up with a tow cable. Fixed cases of vehicle doors inf inflicting damage to the player when exiting certain cars. I, now, I did see that. It was no big deal. You could just hear your character get hit or something like that. It wasn't really no big deal. And then you have a lot of, you have a few animation and audio fixes as well, camera fixes, locational fixes, visual and customization fixes, weapons, world fixes. So you have a lot more to this. If you want to read every single patch note in this, I'm going to go ahead and read you something called Ambient Life. There's only two notes on that one. Fixed issue were factions, police, saints, NPCs, and vehicles would sometimes fail to spawn after extended gameplay sessions. Fixed instances of police and faction spawns not occurring properly within certain world districts. So there's a lot more patch notes than that because you have animation as another category. You have audio, you have camera, you have locational, visual, and customization. You have another weapons. You have more world fixes. And so there's a lot more than what I read there. That wasn't 100% of the notes, but it would probably be a 45-minute video, maybe 35-minute video if I was to give you every single bit of note but anyway check it out for yourself on saintsroad.com they have it you have to click on a link where it says you're gonna see something that says bright future update in november you want to click on that if you want to read if i didn't give you enough and you want to see some more details on these patches go ahead and click that on the saintsroad.com website anyway just wanted to update you on what this what they were doing they finally released that major update i thought they would release a dlc at the same time with it doesn't look like they did anyway thanks for watching this video stay tuned for more future saints Row videos with other content